Welcome back everyone to the next part of the Klonoa Let's Play. So today we are taking on 5-1. Let's begin. Or let's go as what Klonoa says, whatever. Thank you, Pamela. You can just drop us off at that entrance. Are you sure this is where I should leave you? Vision 5 on the Four Jewels, the Temple of the Sun. So we're gonna have to salute the sun this episode. Well, we managed to get into the temple. It's so quiet in here, it's creepy. You're Mr. Klonoa and Mr. Hugo, correct? Huh? We've been waiting for you. Took you long enough. Who, who are you guys? I am Solar, the priest of Coronia, the Temple of the Sun. In our name, Solar. Please allow me to bid you welcome. Glad you made it. Uh, thanks! I guess they must have known we were coming somehow. Oh, by the way, you two haven't seen any strange people coming in here recently, have you? Yes, we have. Are you back? Please take a look over here. Pay attention. Do you see these four empty pedestals? If the jewels that belong on top of these pedestals aren't returned, the passage to the altar won't open. A big no-go. Unfortunately, all the jewels have been carried off by servants of Gaudius. Didn't even ask permission. And I'm sorry to say, the two of us are not particularly good at fighting. In other words, we're wimps. I beg of you, could you please find the four jewels and return them to their pedestals? Give it a try, and get the guts. We're depending on you. Let us down and you'll regret it. Hey, wait! Hold on a minute! I guess we'll just have to go find all the jewels. Guess so. Rather colorful characters. <laughs> Look how they go. Yeah, we can't really help because we're wimps. Anyways, these signs will point out w which color of jewel you're gonna get. Now I don't. I believe all of them are accessible. Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> or there might be like an alternative. Or okay, yeah, I think they're all accessible. Showing it's just pretty fun stage. Well, we already got our first uh, Funtamillion, just like that. Uh, I guess we'll start with red. And I believe that shoots fire, yes. I would just better run for it, I'm like, oh, maybe I should wait. So yeah, we can always see the red stone. This is a little tricky. What we have to do is we have to... Uh, those, make sure we're grabbing the flying guys, flying moves, and hit them down so we're able to go around and uh, well, we can't bring this with us. And pick up Jewel, the Stone, whatever those guys were talking about. So, need an enemy while we're at it. Wow. Whoops. We have to get it again. There we go. Now this stage is one of those ones I have never, ever been able to do 150 stones in. Like pretty much every world I was able to. But this one I can never find. I wasn't really using a walkthrough, so it's kind of my fault. But I was never, ever able to find a way of making it work. With all the multipliers and everything like that. Uh, is there an enemy I can pick up? And I thought I was going to fall to my death there. Alas, we are good. Oh, the stupid spiker slowing me down. Slowing me down. There we go. There's probably a better way of doing that. Might have been smarter just to throw an enemy, maybe? I don't know. 
I have a feeling these are required as well for the multiplier. But yeah, here. Um, I can't remember if there's any benefit to like killing them all. A gold played one, they just double armor, so you have to uh, them twice. Pretty sure there's no benefit of actually doing this, and we should make sure we keep one. Oh, yeah, they just, you know, respawn. I thought there was uh, something special. But we can't even kill the gold one. Oh, we're gonna need to do a double jump. It's gonna be tricky. So it's probably best if we can. Okay, go, go, go. Ah, shit. Go, go, go. There we go. And then we wanna grab you. Ooh. Shoot. We need a better angle. Because I might have missed something. Where are we supposed to get that though? Maybe if we throw it back from here? Okay, I might have missed something, so we're just gonna go. Let's say we should. Unless it brings us around. Oh, it brings us back to the start. Of course. I'm just gonna head back and get that and I'll cut till I'm back to that area. So instead of doing it the proper way, I just kind of died. <laughs> Went back here anyways. Wow! Okay, what's... Okay. Um, so there is a way of getting there, which we are gonna be doing later anyways. Because we will be going through this section. So actually, we did the right thing. I think when we're getting the blue one, we'll actually go through that passage. Either way, the checkpoint system, as illustrated by this example, is actually rather decent. Especially when you're trying to uh, collect things. Although sometimes it would be nice. Some of the Phantom Millions later are... <coughs> Sorry rather difficult to collect sometimes. Well, we're gonna be doing the bottom route now so we can go for the blue stone. Grab that checkpoint. And, um, yeah, I believe this is actually gonna bring us to this area. This guy, it's a little tricky sometimes. But can do some good damage if we don't pick him up soon enough and he starts uh, whipping out his chain. Now here, um, I don't know if there's really benefit to getting him, but I'm just gonna take off his armor. Gee, that's probably not even relevant, really. But this is relevant, so. Yeah, there's nothing up there, so we're just gonna go across. Or do we need to kill the move first? No, okay. Might have been a good idea to bring the move, but we can take advantage of him being there. We already got the blue stone, jeez. Going by quick. And here's the area that we needed to be in. So now we can get, yeah. It's another Phantom Million. So two down, two more to go. So I'm surprised we actually got like four from that one half of the level. See, that's what I mean by how they're clustered together. Like, if you were to do the green and the yellow first, you might be like, I'm probably missing stuff. But yeah, um, I guess we'll go for the yellow first. Or I think it's both the colors behind the same door, actually. I see an egg over there we're gonna have to watch out for. Oops. And we want to make sure to hit the switch. I can't remember what it does, but it does something. It opens the door. Because I think the green, uh, to get the green uh, one is a bit more non-trivial. Yeah, we'll go for the green because we already opened the door, so why not? Oops. 
Come on, let's move and get up there. Oh, thanks, Flame. <laughs> it's funny. And again, we're, I believe we're just going to be mainly going through and opening each of the doors. This is pretty much how this is going down. Grab that checkpoint. So we see the green stone there on the way out, but we can't quite get there. We've seen there have been a million. This one's a little troublesome to grab. Come on. And we can just throw him. That'll bring us to the down area. So when we hit this switch, I'll open that door, which is going to bring us to the green stone, I would imagine. Wahoo! At least it wasn't hard to grab <laughs> the guy again. Okay, so get that and a million. So imagine yellow will have the last one. It's a spot you just want to go through one by one, especially you chain them together. I kind of messed up. I was a little too slow, but it can be kind of cool chaining them together. There we go, the green one. Now it just left for yellow. And I'm pretty sure we're done the level after that. I don't think there's anything really else. I'm actually looking forward to not like 5 2, but then the levels after that has some really great music. Okay, well, and we're in, I think that's the same room we were in before. No, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. I do not know what I'm talking about. I was thinking it was like the same room shared between all of the stones, but I thought something looked familiar, like one of the passages was the one that gave us some trouble. Seriously, we will have to go over there, okay. Okay, seriously game, seriously, I have half a heart. I might actually die. And that's actually really bad. Luckily I have a checkpoint, but it's still kind of embarrassing to die in this game from low health. These flames are probably gonna be the end of me. Never mind. Never mind. Didn't die by health, but by just being bad at games. <laughs> Oh, we can't bring him through, okay. Yeah. Come, Come on. It's like, I don't remember. I think... No, we can't grab that. Yeah, we want to grab it like that. I think I grabbed this a little too late. Other way. That's probably how you would want to go through. You would want to use the wind bolt there. I thought you were able to... I thought we were going to be able to pick up... Uh, the green flying moo and uh, just use it to get the multiplier but that is definitely not the case so we're gonna have some precision platforming here or never mind we got the last piece and i see a heart but is there anything else over here Wahoo! yeah i thought for a second we were gonna have to like jump on the empty one and then do a perfect double jump over but it's not that difficult thankfully And there we go, the last one. The last stone. Got all the Phantomillions, and it's time to move on. Go into the new area. In the last challenge, our hardest challenge, we have to activate the switch to, and then go in the elevator. Whoa. Or cutscene. Very good job! Still be able to stop it. 
quickly. You have to get to the altar before the seal is broken. What are you waiting for? Get moving. What about you guys? We are all the observers. I told you, we're wimps. Now, enter into the light. It won't work. And there we go. 5-1 is now complete. Again, those two guys are really humorous. Especially how the one I was kind of back talks. Um, all over our right, 4-1. And there we go. And what was our record in there? 140, so I missed 10. And anyways, it's time for 5-2. Wahoo! Come on, let's go! I thought for a second he wasn't gonna say let's go. I thought I somehow switched uh, the dub option. <laughs> Between light and darkness. Unleash evil upon the world. There must be a way. It's not over yet. We can't just give up. Even if the Moon Kingdom has appeared, we have to stop Gaudius. Hmm. All right. I'll let you two give it a try. Go into the sanctuary. gives the enemy power. You must attack them when there is light. If we have to attack the enemy when there's light, that would also mean that they're more dangerous when it's dark, right? All right, let's go. Oh yes, now I remember what's happening in this level. I couldn't remember anything about it. And then when he said darkness, I'm like, oh boy, it's that level again. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's bugging me a bit today. So, um, now these little black circles here, when it's night, they actually become platforms, I believe. Yep. You can see they kind of turned into, like, choker-looking things. And I can't even pick them up, I can't do anything with them. And there's some other guys that kind of float around. It's an interesting level concept, actually. Yeah, I don't believe we can pick these guys up, can we? No, it's just to prevent us from kind of like AFKing around, I guess. This blues. Oh, does that like insta change? No. Hmm. I don't know what that's for. It's almost like it's meant for like telling if it's night or not. The flying uh, guy's a bit of a problem, but other than that, I'm just waiting to see if that. Hmm. I don't know. To be honest, I know it's not relevant for anything, but I don't know if he's something's up with it at least. Um. Jump. Maybe just jump over. Yeah. I don't need no platforms to get me to where I need to. I'll at least hit the switch while I'm down here. And I don't know if I have a time limit, I don't think I do. 
I think you should pick up an enemy to help me with a double jump. There we go. Now I don't know what happens when you're holding on to an enemy and then it switches, but I believe inside we're safe. We don't have to worry about switches from the eclipses. Um, hmm. I think the one across here is a bonus section. Yes. I want to at least somewhat know, look like I know what I'm doing. Okay, and the right the worst, but uh, what's up here? Bring this me back. Why would I need to go back? Oh, there's probably a switch to open up another door. Is probably what's happening. Unless you need to backtrack him. Imagine the need. There's nothing back there. Oh, in case you want to get this. that That's what it's for. That's what it's for, yeah. In case you did that path first and you're like, oh, I wonder what that is. I'm just going to hold on to this. Oh, it just dies. Okay. And then we got to wait around. Yeah, there's a lot. I think it's just decoration for the level. Okay. There we go. Didn't need no... What? There we go. Didn't need no double jump to get me across that. Yeah, there's a few elevators to the different sections. Really looking forward to the next level. The well, next two levels. And sometimes I will. Nope, oh, whatever. Doesn't even matter. I don't even care. But uh, sometimes I definitely do want to do the second Klonoa. I prefer it much more than this one. And this is still a good game, but the second's definitely my favorite, hands down. It's just a lot. It's longer. Even better music. There can be some levels with more unique kind of concepts and gimmicks. I actually did a playthrough of that on an older channel I had a while ago. Um, I just kind of abandoned that channel after like two years of inactivity. It was like, or three or four, I don't even know. I thought it was better. Mm, have a new channel. Well, there's other reasons too, but... <coughs> it has a... Actually, a lot of views, but it was just a playthrough, so it wasn't actually like a let's play. Okay, I'm going to need to make sure I get rid of the guy on the left shield. Unless they both have shields, then we're gonna have a bad time. Yeah. So I can at least get him out of the way, and I can. Yep, so that's good enough. Running away. Now, hopefully, their armor doesn't come back. That would be weird. Come on. There we go. Good, an inside section so we don't have to wait around. Okay, so there's gonna be a switch somewhere to open that little passageway. Ooh, I might want to be down there. Hmm. I'm just trying to see what's the best way. Could I go that way? I saw an enemy. I saw something. Yeah, there's something up there at least. Yeah. Um. This might be the way of opening. Well, I need an enemy to get up there anyways. I have a feeling that's the way of getting that uh, phantom isle. Phantom <laughs> to million. And I think, yep, that's the way to do it. Just one more. I thought we had so much less than that. Hmm. Okay, so we can go up on the top to go in one door, or we can go down here to go in another door. Um, but considering the left has a platform, it almost looks like this is probably the right way to go around things. Yeah, so I'll try this door first, see where this brings me. Oh! 
the proper choice. That was a pretty clean bonus area. And yeah, I don't know why I hit it again. I didn't even know you can take damage like that. Anyways, I think this should pretty much wrap up the level. Well, except for the, you know, the regular boss fight we have. After, uh, the second vision. So I'm gonna need to hit the switch again. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna waste a bunch of time. It's unfortunate. There we go. Don't move without me. Okay. I thought I was going to take off and I was going to die from that. Then we can hit it again and use it as a platform. And there we go. I think this is the last elevator. And we just go outside and then... Oh, first we want to get to the checkpoint. Okay, so there's two ways to go. I think I need to grab... Hmm. Well, considering there's something on the left there, I don't know what's happening with that. There's probably an enemy right over here I can grab. Oh! Yeah, we still got quite a bit. Even though I think we got all the Phantom Millions, yeah. I need to stop pausing like that, though. Okay, so i just trying to get him. <laughs> I remember now. I just had to hit all the switches. Just want to get down here. Hopefully they don't have any arm. Oh, god dang it. Okay, there should be somebody I'm able to get around there. I think this is back to the start. Yep, still can't grab anything though. Um, hmm. There must be another enemy somewhere that I can grab. I don't know how else I'm supposed to get here. Oh, we can hit the switch and I have to come back if I am going for all the gems. The crystals. Yeah, I see now. And this should be low enough such that I can take uh, the enemy. Wow, we have to do it twice. But you know what, we're not concerned. We don't need that. We already got everything we were looking for this level. But yeah, if you're going for 150, that's something you would have to do. Yeah, a simple jumping segment. Sometimes these sections I wish you would kind of move with the platform, but I guess they make it a little too easy. I was more expecting that. Oh, I lied. This, this is the last elevator. Do you 
not understand? We are going to settle this right here and now. My pride will accept nothing less. It's time you children learned one final lesson. With the strength I've obtained from the power of darkness! Yes, now we actually get to battle Joker. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious what we have to do, but there is some extra dynamics thrown into the mix. And it doesn't help when we're misthrowing. And this fist does try to prevent us from doing damage. But yeah, at given times it'll switch to Knight and then he will become much stronger. And that's where we really need to watch out. He's gonna turn into whatever the hell he, he is now. And you can see the platform start to change color. And once you change, I believe, all of them back to yellow, it's gonna switch today. It's a little interesting bit of a mechanic. But yeah, these guys came away a bit. Especially because they jump when they're trying to dodge the blade. So you want to make sure you're not jumping over the... Oh, jeez. You want to make sure you're not jumping over them when he's doing his thing. Anyways. Or it does switch today. And... Oh, no? Hmm, I thought this is what we were supposed to do. I guess not. Or no, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's what we were supposed to do. Whatever. One more hit and we're good. I don't know if he's gonna switch to night once more. I don't think he will. Aw. Oh. Seriously? Like, I know it was a terrible shot, but... There we go. Not terribly hard, but interesting boss fight, nevertheless. It... it appears that my time has finally come to an end. Defeated, disgraced, humiliated. But even so, <laughs> it would seem the time has come. Listen closely to the sound of the Moon Kingdom reawakening. Soon, you will also be in darkness, in nightmares. In a world of destruction and nothingness.
Godzilla. Well, things are definitely getting even more escalated now. Now it's time. Well, not in this part, but it's time in the next one for the final two acts. Vision 6-1 and 6-2. See you then.